Hello, welcome to the first installment of Origami with Abby. I'm Abby from Hoosier Burn Camp and um, maybe just giving you guys some ideas for some new and different things to do while you're home from school and um, home, you know, with your family. Speaking of that, you know, a lot of us have been home with the same people for quite a long time. So I figured what better way to start out this origami with Abby than by maybe creating some new company um, for, for you guys and, and for me, you know, some new faces for us to talk to. Um, now, just so you know, I am not a professional at this. It's been a very long time since I've done it, and I'm not sure quite how all of it's going to turn out. So we're going to work through it together and um, hopefully just have a good time with it. So what we're going to create, like I said, we're going to create some new um, some new companies, some new faces for you to interact with uh, during this time. We're going to make an origami dog face and an origami cat face. Now here's the thing with the dog face, it actually talks. Wait till we get there, we're going to do that second, so you know, it'll give you something to look forward to. So what you need is just a couple of pieces of square paper. If you don't have that, you can just take a piece of computer paper or, you know, notebook paper, whatever. And what you'll do is you'll just take bottom corner and you're going to fold it up evenly right up to the edge so that the, the bottom of the paper is flat against the right side edge of the paper or my right side or your left side you know you can see you can see where I'm going so you can either use some scissors and cut it if you don't have any scissors by you you can just kind of fold it back and forth a little bit um, and tear it off um, I recently found some scissors at my desk so I'm gonna go ahead and use those um, well I'm not gonna actually cut this one this was to show you that so I'm gonna go ahead and use this paper. The first thing, I got my cheat sheets over here, like I said, not a professional. We do have a camper in our network who's super good at crazy origami stuff, and so if he's watching this, maybe he'll make some videos for us too that are a little bit more exciting. But for now, we're going to make a cat face. So you're going to take your paper, and you're going to fold it in half diagonally, so corner to corner, just like this. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right, and then you're going to open it back up. And then you're going to fold it. Um, all right, this is going to be... So then you're going to fold the two corners into that middle line that you've created as sort of a guide. All right, so it's going to look a little bit like this. And there, we maybe we go. So there we go. We've got this thing that looks a little bit like a kite. So the next thing you're going to do is kind of fold it backwards so that some of it is kind of hanging down below. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. It's a little bit hanging down below there. So it's easier to do on a surface. So then you kind of end up with something that looks like this. It's gonna turn into a cat. So now we're gonna make the ears and we're gonna pull this corner up. And so it's kind of up above the top of it. And kind of fold it all the way down to that corner. So let me show you what that looks like. Now your new friend can hear you. We're going to do the same on both sides. I'll let you know I have a real dog back here that just sighed really loud about me making, I, I, I assume it's because I'm making a cat. I don't know, maybe because she thinks I'm talking to nobody. So you're going to look like this now. And then we're going to create the nose. And to do that, 
you're going to pull this up kind of you know it doesn't have to be scientific just kind of wherever you think it'll look good for his nose and you're going to put the nose right there and believe it or not we are done if you want to you can draw some eyes on there does it look like a cat the picture looks more like a cat than mine does I don't know here's what it's supposed to look like you look all right I don't know. maybe the eyes are better um, oh, all of my old origami is falling out of this book so that is our cat maybe maybe if we pull them down a little farther maybe have bigger ears I don't know you can practice play with it you know there you go we've got our cat cat head all right so now let's make another friend I think the dog back here will be a lot more excited about the dog so square piece of paper again you're gonna fold and unfold again and this time you're gonna fold the opposite way corner to corner just like that now I will tell you too I tried to make a harder dog and I had so much trouble that I looked up online to find an easier one and the hard one wasn't even that hard so next you're gonna pull this little nose part up here this one's better anyway because it talks and whoa he's got a little crooked nose but that's okay it's fine I'm gonna fix it a little bit but if not it's okay you know so then you're gonna create the ears by folding them down you can kind of decide how flappy you want them just fold that down to there and you're going to take this corner and fold it down also again if they're not even that's fine it's a nice little dog all right and believe it or not that is it so you can maybe give him some eyes too or her not very good at drawing eyes this is why I don't teach crafts at camp kids this is why now this looks a little more like a fox maybe I don't know but look they tell me he can talk hey thank you for watching origami with Abby watch for more Hoosier Burn Camp videos in the future bye